And as time ticked away on an interest payment deadline, which global markets are watching for, signs of default, China Evergrande, it stripped towards a kind of limbo, leaving investors on tenterhooks over the embattled property giant's fate. The company owes over $300 billion. It has run short of cash and markets are worried. A collapse could pose systemic risk to China's financial system and reverberate around the world. China's central bank again injected cash into the banking system today, seen as a sign of support for markets. But authorities, they have been silent on Evergrande's troubles and China's state media has offered no clues on a rescue plan yet. Evergrande appointed financial advisors and warned of a default last week. And world markets, they fell heavily on Monday amid fears of contagion spreading, though they have since stabilized. At its offices, furious small investors have protested to try and retrieve life-saving sunk into properties and wealth management products. Our grant has promised to prioritize such investors and resolve one coupon payment on a domestic bond this week, giving markets a glimmer of hope. But it has said nothing about an $83.5 million offshore interest payment that was due yesterday. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.